Hello, welcome back to another video. I'm Brittany and today we are staying at Pike's Place Market in Seattle. In this video, we're gonna be staying at the Inn in the market. It's the only hotel in Pike's Place Market. It's been here a long time and we're excited to check it out. Also, we're definitely going to be checking out some of the food vendors that make up Pike's Place Market. There are a lot. We are not going to cover them all. Only a couple of our sincere favorites. I'm glad to have you here. Let's start the day. We're here first thing in the morning, so obviously the first thing on the docket is coffee. And we're in luck because the original Starbucks location is actually just a block away. favorite stops here at the market is always Rachel's ginger beer. I make sure to go there at least a couple times whenever I'm in Seattle. I absolutely love it and it's a must get while you're here at the market. For lunch, there really is no other place than Pike's Place Chowder. You can't go wrong with any of the options. Then we got the market-based chowder that had lobster crab and prawns. I think that's a great deal and it's only a couple bucks more than the normal chowder. Get whatever you want. They also have sampler packs that are a great deal also. Can't go wrong. Super filling. If you want something a little different, they also have lobster rolls. Those are good but I don't recommend because I think they're a little overpriced. Also, you're in Seattle, not Maine, so if you want a lobster roll, head over to the East Coast. But right now we're just going to dive into this great chowder. Hey there, we just got checked in at the Inn at the Market. Our room's pretty cool. It has a lot of really fun features. My favorite, of course, is the window seat. I could hang out in there for hours. I love that it overlooks the market. Such a really cool feature. Bed looks divine. Bathroom looks clean. There's a few signs of wear here and there, but overall, considering this place's age, this is a very nice hotel and a very nice room. Everyone upon check-in was so, so nice. We even got an early check-in without having to reserve one. That's really fantastic in my book. On the way over, we did stop at Rachel's Ginger Beer one more time because I had to get some dessert after a great chowder. If you do get a float there, I suggest getting the caramelized pineapple ginger beer with it. It really complements the rich ice cream flavor. As for the rest of the features of the room, I think that it really has everything you could want. It has a good sized desk. It does have bathrobes. The bath amenities look really nice. I will give you a small update tomorrow on how the shower is and how we slept. But overall, pretty impressed. The market on a Saturday is incredibly busy. So if you come on a weekend, be prepared. 
you will have to battle a lot of crowds. The lines for everything can be incredibly long. Chowder can reach 45 minutes plus. Starbucks can reach well over an hour. If you want some of the key spots to try, then just be prepared for a little bit of a wait. You could easily spend all day at the market. It's huge, it has multiple floors, there's tons to eat, see, shop. It is by far a full day activity. If you want to rush and you're on a time crunch, then I recommend at least four hours. And make sure that some of that is over a meal time so you can try some of the food. All right, we're going to relax a little bit and I'll see you in time for some dinner. Last night we ended up going to Old Stove Brewing. Normally it's good. Last night it was only okay. I definitely recommend it for drinks and apps. It has an amazing view of the sound. I can't fully recommend it last night because they gave me undercooked bacon and our burgers were kind of mediocre. So take that for what you will. If you need a place and you don't have reservations around Pike's Place Market, for dinner, it's a really good option because they don't take reservations and you get an amazing view with your dinner. Last night I slept okay. The bed's a little soft for me. I woke up with a little bit of a crick in my neck. I'm not as well rested as I would hope for a $300 plus night hotel room, but not too bad. Most of that money goes towards where you are. And I do think this place has an amazing location. I wish that location was reflected more in the interior of the hotel. Our room had really pretty minimal art and the only art it did have was almost Parisian, European themed, not exactly local Seattle, considering that this place's claim to fame is that it's the only hotel inside Pike's Place Market. Really, really minor though. And the bed was okay. Brad said he slept fine. So that's just a matter of personal preference. I do love the main feature in the room, which is the window ledge. I took an amazing two hour nap there yesterday. Oh, it was so, so good. Loved it. If you've ever taken a nap in the sun, you know. To wrap up, I would come back, I think. The location really makes it. It's so, so nice to walk out of your hotel directly into Pike's Place Market. It's amazing to kind of go in and out of the market as you will because the bustle of the crowd can get overwhelming. So it's nice to take a break if you need it. Amenity wise in this hotel, there really isn't besides the rooftop deck, which is BYOB. So. That's kind of nice there and will save you money in the end. And the view from there really can't be topped. I appreciate you joining me on my trip to Pike's Place Market. I'll see you soon in another video. Bye. <laughs>